Are you looking for a satellite dish, a satellite receiver, or a actuator, or a satellite meter, or an LMB, or any satellite products for your free to air setup? Go to tech2000.com. Look at their wide variety of merchandise of many free to air satellite products that will soothe your satellite needs. So now I'm going to do a video on the Sat Hero. What model is this thing? Don't have the HD DVBS2. Don't have the chair the model on this one. This is just the uh, the smaller Sat Hero. This is more of the lower end ones. I highly recommend it if you want to. Um, okay, here. I'm going to grab this one here. So if you're going to get a satellite meter. Uh, I recommend before you buy one of these things here, one of these things here, um, these are junk. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're interesting, but really if you want to actually get your signal and not have the headaches, don't go through this way. Get this one. Get this one right here, the Sat Hero. Uh, this will you know, make things a lot easier. If you want to spend a little extra money, uh, you get this uh, device here, the Sat Hero HD 400. It's a little more expensive, but it, the neat features of it is it has its own bat power supply, or you can run, power it through the thing. The battery must be dead on this one, but um, it has. It, you, you, I can replace it if you, if I really want to. It has its own power supply. Um, it has the input for uh, that bat. But I've done that. That was my uh, review on another video. So with this video, I'm talking about the Sat Hero, and we'll do an unboxing of it just to show you what comes in it. Nice little box here. Uh, I've actually had this open before, but so here's the manual instructions on how to set it up. Just one page, front and back, English. Okay, so it has this USB cable. That's for updating the firmware. Now, I when I first got this thing, I didn't couldn't figure out why is it not working. I thought I needed to charge it, but <laughs> somebody's drumming in the background. Um, but what this uh, what it does is you need to put these cables in like this that come with it so you need to connect it like that and uh, so you have LMB in so that's going to your LMB and to your receiver so what happens with this device is you need your receiver to power it because the power uh, runs through this and will power this device um, and then uh, uh, then you just aim your dish to get your, the best quality of signal. So if you do get one of these and it only has the European firmware, you can go online and update it to the North American. Or if you have one with North American firmware and you're in Europe, you can go and update online and get the satellites that you want from where, wherever in the world you are. So I got the sat here all fired up. Now it's not getting any signal right now because I have it on the wrong satellite and the wrong transponder and the wrong band. I have it on KU band. I'm running it, show you a little zoom out here. So here's where the satellite dish is running out to the satellite dish, this is running in. So for the receiver for this video, I'm using the other sat here, which is a little bit more advanced. So I'm gonna put this on the transponder and I'm gonna get this thing on the C-band transponder that I need to find signal. Okay, so I have it set up. It's not passing through the signal to the sat hero, but I am getting a reading. You just kinda of go through your configurations. Now this thing, I'm not overly a fan of because you have to power it, you know, through the receiver. And I, th I think you could read that thing there. It says 30, 36 percent, whatever Q. Um, yeah, I'm actually, if I were to use one of these, I'd actually use this one uh, when, when working out and uh, doing a, a setup. I mean, if it's something, you know, you could try. I just, um, I find just the configuration with the, having to wire it into the receiver, and then this the noise is really annoying, and it, I don't know if there's a way to turn that off. 
Uh, where this one, you hit F2, it does chirp at you, but you could turn that off at least. So, I mean, this one, it, it'll get the job done if you need need it, but I do recommend, um, I do recommend that or, or going through the receiver. No, I don't know. So this is it, it's running through, it just tells you your readout, 36%. And you just got to put it on the frequency. Now this thing, the one thing about that, this thing, is you have to, um, you have to, uh, it's like a spreadsheet or whatever you upload to this. And you add your frequencies, uh, your North American frequencies that you want for this. Um, and if you're looking for a particular frequency, you have to take it to your computer and plug it in and do that. Now if you don't mind doing that sort of thing, great. Um, but if you want to just sort of program it in, Manually, I'd recommend with something like this or a satellite receiver. I have a pair of rabbit ears growing out of my head. It's crazy. I can receive TV signals off my head. It's crazy. <laughs>